फाइव सेकेंड स्टार्ट सर रिगार्डिंग द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वेश मेड बाय द ऑनरेबल मेंबर अराइजिंग आउट ऑफ द कमेंट्स ऑफ प्रोफेसर गेटगिल एज आई रिमेंबर देयर वर थ्री पॉइंट्स फर्स्टली डेट द प्लानिंग कमीशन हैड नॉट डेवलप्ड एप्रोप्रिएट क्राइटेरिया एंड सेकेंडली डेट इट हैड नॉट वर्कड आउट द एनुअल प्लान विद एप्रोप्रिएट ब्रेकअप्स These were two things and then there was another question about the planning commission mixing up with the policies of government and not giving proper advice or submitting to wrong policies and also that the planning commission did not watch the progress of the plan even in its broadest elements these are fairly grave charges it is up to the planning commission to say what answer it has for these things regarding annual plans and breakups sir honorable members here are familiar with the annual plans and that the central and state governments base their annual budgets on annual plans after a very careful examination of all aspects and after discussions prolonged discussions between the states and the central ministries all the material that is available is pressed into service to that extent professor gadgil's charge is not correct about criteria the complaint made be true because it takes experience टाइम एंड टेक्निकल टूस टू डेवलप द क्राइटेरिया एंड द यार्ड स्टिक्स दो वी हैव मेड सम प्रोग्रेस इन दिस डायरेक्शन सिंस द टेंथ प्लान वॉज गॉट रेडी आई डू नॉट थिंक that we can be or should be satisfied with the progress that has been made regarding the other thing the question of watching progress by the planning commission even in general terms and that it was not able to check certain gross errors and distortions that may be taking place well i cannot vouch for the planning commission having done its part in this respect adequately and correctly because i have in mind a certain aspects of the duties and 
responsibilities of the planning commission about which there cannot be complete justification for example on the question of foreign exchange resources there was the question of import licenses which were issued regarding which some honorable members said that they had been issued on a lavish scale over a certain period it is quite true and a statement was laid on the table of this house about these licenses and an explanation was given even that explanation did not deny that somebody was responsible for it